Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. Got a request for a video from Callum from Aberdeen, Scotland. You know him. He is a regular contributor to the channel, watches comments, and in fact, he visited the United States recently and went to Las Vegas, and he saw more shows in Las Vegas in one week than I've probably seen in the last two years. So uh, he sent me a report, which was really, really cool. But he sent me a request and he called it one and done, and it's actually a really cool idea. So the idea is artists that I only need one album, maybe artists that you only need one album from as well, uh, a greatest hits, a compilation album. Now that might not sound like such a big deal, but it kind of is when you're a collector like me who buys physical media, and I have 5,374 albums right now, CDs or vinyl uh, in my catalog, plus another 300 or so backlog, and I'm, when I'm a fan, I get a lot, if not everything, by an artist. I have 436 Stones albums right now. I'm looking at a cheat sheet. 64 Who, 68 Kinks, 82 Jethro Tull albums, not including Ian Anderson solo, 85 Springsteen, 90 Dylan albums. You get the idea. If I like an artist, I'm going to get most, if not all, of their albums. So the idea that I only have one album by these artists is kind of an interesting concept. One and done. Thanks, Callum. Without further ado, let's get into it in alphabetical order, but we're going to start with one on vinyl. You probably never even heard of this guy, but if you're an old-timer like me, you might. Buzzy Linhart, he was in the 70s, and he wrote that song, You Got to Have Friends. Uh, Bette Midler covered it big time. Anyway, that's just an original uh, cutout that I bought back in the 70s, and I love it, but I just never felt like I needed to need, never had the need to get any more Buzzy Linhart. That's the idea. Let's go into modern times. ABBA, ABBA Gold, what can I tell you? I've bought some of their albums, and it's just not for me. I'm glad to have ABBA Gold, but I just never listen to ABBA, and it's just not really my thing. So let's stick ABBA over there. Uh, the Alarm. Some people, uh, I remember people were comparing them to U2 back in the day. Really good band. I actually saw them. Uh, and this is a really good album called uh, Standards. But I just never had the desire to get any more albums from The Alarm. Uh, the Animals, they're a classic case of a lot of compilation albums. This is one that I have called The Story of the Animals. Uh, they're pretty much their whole history is spread over two CDs. It's more than enough animals, just not the kind of band that I need to get their studio records. Uh, and I've actually tried. Uh, same with this, Badfinger. I have bought their albums, some were considered classics. All of the ones that I bought, including the, the really famous ones, I'm like, you know what? All I really need is this best of Badfinger. And I got rid of the uh, studio records. So, you know, you just don't have room or the time to listen to everything. Uh, this is a pretty recent one, the Boomtown Rats. I remember when they were out, you know, uh, Don't Like Mondays. I remember when that came out, Rat Trap. Really good songs, but... Uh, even this best of greatest hit CD is kind of, eh, yeah, some of it's great, some of it's just okay. I don't need any more Boomtown Rats. Eric Carmen, I got his debut album on Arista. It was a big hit uh, when it first came out. And I also like the Raspberries, and I have a bunch of Raspberries. But when it comes to Eric Carmen, this is all I need, the definitive collection. And it has the best of the Raspberries on there as well. This is a really good collection and glad to have it. But I don't need any more Eric Carmen. And the Carpenters. Everybody should have, like, at least one Carpenters album. Karen Carpenter's got such an amazing voice. Some really beautiful songs. I do not listen to them very often, but you never know if you have people over where you just throw on some Carpenters, and everybody's like, wow, what a beautiful song. I remember that. Singles, 69 to 81 from the Carpenters. This is a loaded disc, like 20, 21 songs on there. All the Carpenters that I need right there. How about Clannad, a recent purchase? I think I got this last year. Greatest Hits. I didn't even know they had a lot of Greatest Hits. I picked it up because of the Enya con uh, connection, and it's good. I don't need any more Clannad, though. The Dave Clark Five, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band. Uh, you see their vinyl a lot in cutout bins, but this is the history of the Dave Clark Five. 50 tracks spread over two CDs. Wonderful collection. Huge liner notes. And all I need, even on that two CD set, I feel like it starts off really strong and just kind of 
gets weaker as it goes on. Sean Colvin, remember her? Polaroids, the greatest hits collection. Some really great songs on here, but I just don't have the need to get any more Sean Colvin. I'm happy with this one. Concrete Blonde, all I need from them, uh, The Essential, and this is a cool collection, but uh, not a band that I need to explore uh, any more of their albums beyond that. Uh, their debut album right here, Counting Crows, what was it, August and everything. I saw them on that, on the, around that time. Great album, really cool sound. But when I got this one, Films About Goes to Best of Counting Crows, this is all I really need. Not the kind of band that I'm going to listen to that often. Jim Croce, man, he's made for like a collection like this. Photographs and Memories, probably his most famous one. I had it when I was a kid. I had it on an A-track. Here it is on CD. And it's perfect, but I don't need any more Jim Croce. Donovan, lots of albums, but this one is a two CD set. Comes in a bigger box, but I shrunk it down. Troubadour, the definitive collection, 1964 to 1976. This is all the Donovan that I need. Uh, really good stuff, though. Um, how about Duran Duran? It actually, I have a couple of songs that I really like. I remember my sister-in-law was her, they, they were her band. Of course, she's a lot younger than me. But this is a really good collection called Greatest, and this is a deluxe edition because it's got a DVD. And if you remember Duran Duran, they had those amazing videos on MTV in the 80s. Great videos. Uh, this is a wonderful collection of their stuff. They're just not the kind of band that I put on very often. But if I'm in the mood, there it is. Uh, Melissa Etheridge is another one. This is a deluxe edition called, what's the name of this thing? Uh, greatest Hits, The Road Less Travel. This is a deluxe edition with a DVD. Uh, you know, she's one of those artists, even in her heyday, I can only take her in certain doses, to be honest with you. Um, but she's good. These guys made it into the Hall of Fame, which I was surprised. But uh, the Eurythmics, they really, uh, I'm not saying Dave Stewart works with Mick Jagger. I'm not saying they're huge, not hugely talented in their own way. They're just not really kind, my kind of sound. And uh, <clears throat> all I need from them is the greatest hits. So, uh, Eurythmics. Let's keep going. We're going at a good pace. This one might surprise some people, but it's true. I had their debut album, great debut album. But then when I got the greatest hits one uh, called Let It Rock, uh, the best of the Georgia Satellites, I kind of found that I didn't need that one anymore to make space. And this is really all I need from the Georgia Satellites, uh, Let It Rock. The best of the Georgia Satellites. Mighty fine band, though. They really are. Uh, let's keep going. How about Gorillas? You know, I'm a fan of Damon Albarn and, the, and Blur. Uh, this is the band that made it big in the United States, uh, the cartoon band. A lot of really cool tracks. Uh, the singles collection, 2001 to 2011, is the only one that I really need from Gorillas. All oh, Guthrie! I used to have Alice's Restaurant. Now, this is enough for me. This is the best of Arlo Guthrie, and it's got Alice's Restaurant Massacre on there, and City of New Orleans, and really all I need from Arlo Guthrie. Let's stick that over there. How we doing, guys? We're doing good. This one might surprise some people. He's an artist that I appreciate. I enjoy some of his stuff, but this is all I need from Lenny Kravitz, Greatest Hits. Um... I don't know what it is. I, I, I got his debut album, Let Love Rule, at that time, and then I dumped it. Just something about Lenny Kravitz that I can only take in smaller doses, and that's enough of a dose for me right there. Loverboy, Canadian band, some really big hits. I remember when I was in college working for The weekend and loving every minute of it, Hot Girls in Love. Then this not the kind of band that I ever really listened to, and if I needed to, Loverboy, Big Ones is all I need. Uh, I'm a fan of the Neville Brothers. I have a bunch of their stuff. For whatever reason, the Meters, this is the only Meters album I have. Uh, this is called The Very Best of the Meters on Rhino. Um, not adverse to exploring them more, but uh, this is probably all I really do need from them as well. Let's keep going. A lot of CDs here. There's about 40. Mike and the Mechanics. Mike Rutherford, an offshoot of Genesis. The album called Hits. He's got some really good stuff, different singers. All I Need is a Miracle. You know a lot of these songs. The Living Years is incredible. But this is the only Mike and the Mechanics album that I really need. 
And I'm going to say the same thing. This might surprise you. The monkeys. I'm just, uh, all I need from the monkeys is their greatest hits. And this is a one of many uh, in, that are available. This is 20 songs. And it's fun stuff. I remember watching the TV show. It's still on TV every once in a while. I'll catch it. I'm like, wow, how did I ever really watch this back in the day? It's so silly. But <coughs> the monkeys. I got a bad cold, so bear with me. Uh, how about Nilsson? This is Nilsson's Greatest Hits and a really good collection uh, of, I don't know how many songs are on here, 21 songs. This is the only Nilsson that I really need. I did have um, Nilsson Schmilson back in the day, but just don't need it. You know, when you have limited space and I got close to 6,000 albums, I do have to make space sometimes. And uh, Ted Nugent, not an artist that I'm really a fan of. But I remember in the 70s as a kid, everybody loved him. And I was in a band, bar bands, and we used to play some of his stuff. So uh, the best of Ted Nugent, Great Gonzos. This is the only Ted Nugent that I need. Um, <coughs> again, personal taste, you know. Laura Nero. A lot of people love Laura Nero. I have tried, man. I've gotten some of her records. Uh, I just find it to be okay, and uh, this is all I need from her. Time and Love, The Essential Masters, from Laura Nero. And again, just personal taste. Uh, you know, I could tell a story about Steve Harold only needs one Rolling Stones album. You know, he needs one compilation. That's all he needs from the Stones. And he proudly told that to a guy who's got 40, 436 Rolling Stones album. But it's not right or wrong. It's all what you like. Uh, I got this. They had the great album covers, the Ohio Players, and this is one called Gold, and this is the only CD that I really need from them. Um, you know, every once in a while I can get into the Parliament Funkadelic. I have a bunch of this stuff, but Ohio Players, that's the only one I need. This one might surprise people, but it's true. Quicksilver Messenger Service. I had, um, what was it, Happy Trails. Um, to me, they're just okay. I know, legendary uh, San Francisco band. For whatever reason, you know, I love Fresh Air. But uh, beyond that, this is enough of me. Quicksilver Messenger Service, one of those co uh, compilations, classic masters. Uh, let's keep going. How about the, remember this artist, Kim Ritchie? She's pretty good, uh, the collection. But Kim Ritchie, this is the only thing that I need from her. <clears throat> There's only so much time in the day, so much music, so little time. How about Seals and Crofts? They're a classic. Uh, my wife used to have Summer Breeze, I remember, but then when I got the greatest hits, didn't need Summer Breeze anymore. This is everything I need right there from Seals and Crofts. All right, Pete Seeger, the essential Pete Seeger. This is a really cool collection, not a guy that I listen to very often, but uh, I guess you could say everybody needs a little Pete Seeger in their life. And how about the specials? I have gotten into them on occasion, but wound up dumping uh, some of their albums and uh, just kept the singles collection, which is really good enough for me. Uh, but this is great. You know, Ghost Town, things like that. Awesome, awesome collection for what it is. We're getting there. We're getting towards the end. Stiff Little Fingers. This is a really cool import. All the best. This is a double CD. It was on One Way Records, I guess. And really good band, but just not the kind of band that I need that much more from. How about Sugar Ray? I saw them open up for the Stones back in the day, and I saw them a couple of years ago. I think last year, actually. Still really good. Uh, what's his name? Mark McGrath. But all I need from Sugar Ray is the best of Sugar Ray. And some of these bands, like this one, might surprise you, but it's true. The Temptations, all I need is a good compilation from them. And this might be amongst the best, Gold, which is a two-CD set. Um, I actually bought a box set of theirs, uh, which was a pretty big box. And then I realized there was so much stuff on there uh, that this was sometimes less is more, and this was more for me. And UB40, we've got two more left. The very best of UB40, 1980 to 2000. Really nice collection. Uh, it's got their duet with uh, Chrissy Hine and others. This is a fun collection. It's good stuff. Uh, but I really just don't need much more from UB40. And the very last one, I picked this up a couple years ago, War. And the greatest hits of War, Eric Burden, After the Animals. This is a really good 
first disc, and then there's a second disc of remix, remixes that uh, just don't need it all. So let's stick that up there, and hopefully we don't have a collapse. There is 40 albums right there uh, of that I only need one album from. It's a compilation. And kind of curious to know what you think. Are these the kind of artists that you think I should have all their albums or a lot more? I'm still looking at it right now. <clears throat> I don't think so. This is really perfect for my needs. Um, so uh, I'd like to know your opinion. And what artists are you like that where you only need like the best of compilation greatest hits? Uh, interesting idea. Uh, again, coming from somebody who is the opposite. Somebody who's a big collector who buys complete discographies of artists or tons of albums. The idea to only have one really cool idea Callum so I really appreciate it welcome back to Scotland hope all is great uh he actually sent me a digital file of the fish album uh, the last one which is supposed to be one of his best albums here in the United States you can't get it unless you buy it directly from fish in the UK and with the cost of shipping and the rest of it I was just like ah uh. so I'm looking forward to giving that a listen uh even though I'm not a streamer um thank you for sending that uh, anyway, thanks so much again. As always, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. I got playlists of tons of videos. I appreciate your loyalty. I love your comments. Let me know what you think. And if you have a good idea for a video, send it to me because more often than not, I'll do it. Uh, and I turn them around really quick, as you know. So thanks again. I hope you have a great night. Uh, it's Thursday night. And I'll see you next time on The Alan Rosenberg Show.